2025 marks the 10 year anniversary of the Splatoon series. That is when Splatoon 1 did come out for the Wii U. But this year is the 10 year anniversary since the Splatoon series did get revealed. It did get revealed a year earlier in Nintendo's E3 2014 digital event. But yeah, I wanted to react to the digital event segment because that was the first thing that I actually watched. I watched this live back in 2014. I did call for Splatoon back in 2014 as well. So yeah, I wanted to react to that trailer within this video. But before I get into that, if you're watching this video before the end of March 2024, you can still play Splatoon 1 online. But if you're watching this after that date, you will not be able to play the Wii U game online, unfortunately. The servers will have been taken down. So, yeah, let's just get on and react into the initial reveal trailer we did get for Splatoon back in 2014, 10 years ago this year. I can't believe it has been that long already. Time really does fly by. Here we go, first look. And yeah, at this point, I thought this was The Blob 2. I really did, because I heard about The Blob being a sort of ink, sort of shooting, sort of game for the Wii. I thought this was The Blob for the Wii U, but yeah, that little segment got me a little bit interested. And yeah, it's just, we saw this again back in E3 2018 for Smash Brothers Ultimate's reveal. No, it weren't E3, it was the direct of February 2018. So yeah, this is what wasn't in the initial reveal trailer. And yeah, we got to see Nagami. And look, Splatoon. Look, there's Nagami. He did go on to become the lead producer. Amano, I can't remember him, Amano, but Sakaguchi, yeah, I can remember him because he did like appear in the treehouse. He did have his hair tied back, and yeah, his hair started to make its way into the game. There's Urgent Underpass. Still don't have that stage in the game. Got to see Wallow Warehouse as well, and there's Jord. Yeah, just really interesting to hear how they came up with the design. And this is how I fell in love with this series. Seeing the art like that. We've got to see really cool concept art that early on. It's kind of rare for us to sort of get that sort of look for the first reveal of a game. Nowadays, you just see the trailer and that is it. But yeah, this conversation with the developers, I just found it really cool. It helped me fall in love with the series. And yeah, at this time, Nintendo didn't have a shooter of its own. And yeah, I was big into shooters, I still am big into shooters, and yeah, just instantly fell in love with this. Wow, look at, well, look at Archon Underpass. Missed that stage, big time. Really wanted to come back for the Wii U. But yeah, Sakaguchi, the guy on the left there, he did go on to develop Nintendo Labo. There's Arrow Animal. Look how sort of different it looks there. It was very different, but yeah, they did change Earth's and Underpass within Splatoon 1's life cycle. Even this version of Earth's and Underpass looks different to the one that we did get on release. And there is Soul Spray Rig. Again, it looks so different. You can tell they made massive amount of changes within the year from development to when we did get the game back in 2015. And that is the gamepad screen. I thought I would miss the gamepad more from the leap to the Switch, but I don't really miss it as much. But yeah, the gamepad features were definitely really cool. I can't remember Amano at all. I don't know where he went to. But yeah, Nagami went on to be the lead producer. But yeah, I just loved, you know, this sort of thing that we did get. If you tap one of these icons, you'll blast off from your location. And this was our sort of first real sort of look at, you know, what the gamepad could do. Within this digital event as well, we got to see Super Mario Maker revealed for the first time, I do believe. 
I don't know, I just feel like if Splatoon was out when the you know system itself did come out, then I feel like things might have been a little bit different. Just look how different Salisbury Rig looks. And you'll be able to get to your enemy's territory quicker. But on the other hand, they can just ink over that and ruin your strategy. In this way, splattering ink is both an but yeah, this is not like the reveal trailer like they did upload later on. But this is the first time we did get to see Splatoon. And those numbers are different as well. Like when you are splatting someone, you don't get to see that in the final version as well. If my memory does serve me correctly, I haven't seen like Splatoon on gameplay for a good few months now, but. Yeah, I think that might have been different as well. Lay down a lot of ink and make it hard for enemies to advance into my team's territory. I like to stay at home and protect the base. Yeah, that's not my style at all. I'm just plain bad. Yeah, Nogami-san, you're really not very good. Like me as well, and here is the iconic music. And here is the initial sort of reveal trailer. And that is the, the um, hairstyle I was talking about. He was inspired by Sakaguchi himself. But yeah, it's just really cool to see these stages, how early, you know, they are, how different they look. You get to see, you know, how they have evolved, not just from, you know, the year development, but from, you know, Splatoon 1 to Splatoon 2. It's crazy I still don't have Urgent Underpass on the Switch apart from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That is crazy to me. And yeah, the roller, that was the big thing. And that is the Inkzuko. Splat Bomb, you can't beat Splat Bomb. But yeah, I just fell in love with this. And E3 2014, when they did play in the Treehouse, again, getting to see loads and loads of gameplay of this new IP it just made me fall in love with this series and yeah I just loved it loved it I was at the time disappointed about the 2015 date but you know what it didn't really matter at the end of the day so yeah it's just really cool to see where Splatoon started the first time we got to see like the actual like initial reveal it was within that digital event and yeah it was really cool how they did talk about the concepts and you know the reasoning you know the stuff that they did come up with and how they come up with it i don't know as a massive fan i just find it really cool to look back i know i did talk over quite a lot of that i must apologize about it but yeah that's just the whole point of reaction video really it's not just to me you know shut up and you know just listen to the video itself i am reacting to you know that trailer but yeah i just fell in love with the treehouse stuff I can remember Nate, I can remember Smithy, I think he was like the charger and then the person who went on to be Nagami's translator for like public events as well. I can remember them playing it back in 2014 and yeah it's just you know really cool to see how like far the series has gone since then. I'm going to be honest and say that I probably would say that the third game is my least favourite in the series in terms of the multiplayer. I think the simple, the better, and maybe Splatoon, there's just, you know, too much stuff added in terms of special weapons, like weapons itself. I don't know, maybe the first game, how basic it was, like looking back at it now. I don't know, I kind of missed that. Yeah, the specials were a little bit unbalanced, but you know what, it was really fun, and you can't beat the music, you really can't beat that music. But yeah, I really am grateful for this series, for the opportunities it did give me and this channel. And yeah, like I said, I've been covering this series, albeit I didn't really do a good job covering this series back in 2014. Like, I really started, like, my coverage started with Splatoon 2, and that is where most of you discover this channel. But yeah, I did, like, make Splatoon 1 videos back from 2014 so this year marks 10 years since I have been talking about one of my favorite series of all time and yeah that did lead me to many great opportunities it's like I did get invited to play Splatoon 3 early from Nintendo fortunately I couldn't make it but it's just amazing to think about you know this series 
it's definitely led to many great opportunities for me and yeah really I'm grateful for where this series is going. I can't wait to play the side of all the DLC as well. I'm looking forward to seeing the future and where it will be going for this series as well. But yeah that is just a look back at the first reveal trailer we did get back in 2014. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you in another video soon.